Hello everyone and today we are going to compare Google Play Music versus Spotify. We will go through both the apps and then see all non-technical differences like the number of the songs, platforms, pricing, trends, etc. So let's begin. Let's move to see some of the unique features Google Play Music app provides which you will not find in Spotify. When you open Google Play Music, you see a nice home screen where you can see your recommendations. The first feature is identify what's playing. The first option in the search bar identifies what is playing. It doesn't work after tapping the option. You will have to tap on the music icon again. The second feature is top charts. Tapping on that shows you the list of top 100 songs around the globe. In the left menu, we have a few options and one of them is music library where you will find all the playlists and songs you have added. You can also play stations, see artists, albums, etc. Browse stations is also available if you want to listen to something new or listen to driving or dancing music, etc. Moving on to settings, we have a sleep timer, equalization, download quality, storage, manage downloads, etc. Searching for a song is also easy. Tap on the bar and search for the song. The search menu shows artists, then albums, then songs, then radio stations and finally YouTube videos. Tapping on the song plays the song. You can see all the song options in the top right menu. We also have the radio button next to the menu button. Moving on to Spotify, we have a nice black home screen. A feature I would like to mention is songs lyrics. While playing, you see the facts and the lyrics for the song. Spotify comes with a songs queue where you can add songs and enjoy the music. You can open the queue and add more songs while if you don't Spotify will add on its own. You can see your playlists, albums, artists and downloaded songs in my library. You can also listen to podcasts. In the settings menu we have songs quality, volume level, lyrics, play while navigating with ways etc. You can start a private session so you can be private. Meanwhile, share your activity with your followers is also available. Moving back to the app, searching for a song is a piece of cake. Tap on the search bar and you can see the search window with your recommendations. Search for a song and tap to play. Alright, that's how both apps work and unique features. Let's discover the non-technical details. Spotify has been dominating Google search for the past five years, the interest in Spotify has always been high. Both are available on multiple platforms. Google Play Music is available on iOS, Android and web browser, while Spotify is available on iOS, Android, Windows Phone and Desktop. Both have over 40 million songs now. Google Play Music allows you to add up to 50,000 own songs to listen across the devices. You also get the YouTube Music app for free. Both come with pricing plans including individual, family and student. Both are for $10 per month on the individual plan and you can register as a student to get the discount. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope the video Google Play Music vs Spotify helped you pick the one. Thanks for watching and please let me know what do you think of both in the comments below and subscribe to my channel for more fun videos.